Ants like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. Most ants are worker ants and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen and find food for the rest of the colony. Hello Alice! What's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? I see, Alice. You've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. When you try to carry too much and you do it on your own, you're making life more tricky, whereas you could make it known that you need a little help and your friends can clearly see a helping hand is welcome, work together, that's the key. Share the load, it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on. Share the load, you need a little give and take. We can help each other to be strong and to be brave. When you're worrying about the you've not yet done Togetherness works wonders and you can work as one On your own you get frustrated and you can't get to the end Don't carry all the world if your back is going to bend Share the load It's going to help each one of you strong and to be brave share the load it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on share the load you need a little give and take we can help each other to be strong and to be brave share the load There you go, Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support, which will help when you are carrying things. Well done. You're all working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Felix, you're an hour late. Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates. Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Let's try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready, steady, go! Done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. Here's Colin the chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard. And did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then, Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin, which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? <whistles> hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. 
Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo, please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which. Test you again, Colin. Red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Here comes Jake the spider. Some people think that spiders are insects, but that's not true. Spiders are actually members of the arachnid family. Oh dear, Jake. It looks like you're limping on one of your legs. What happened? That sounds like a nasty fall. Let me take a look at that for you. Robbo, I think we need to take an x-ray of one of Jake's legs. One x-ray coming right up. Spiders don't have bones like you and me. They are arthropods, which means their skeleton is on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. If you look, you can clearly see here that poor Jake has broken one of his legs. I think we need to put that leg in a cast, which will give it the support it needs whilst it heals. Whilst Robbo is putting Jake's cast on, shall we count how many legs Jake has? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs! All spiders have eight legs. That's you all fixed, Jake. Now don't climb any walls or water spouts for two weeks and try to get plenty of rest. Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on Earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. But this is just too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. 
I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo, <coughs> do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. Here comes Shane the koala. Shane is eating eucalyptus leaves, which are a koala's favourite type of food. This is very strange. Normally Shane is so happy. I wonder what's wrong with him. I think Shane might be homesick, but I wonder where home is. Let's show him some pictures of places around the world and see which one makes Shane happy. Italy America Australia Shane is from Australia, which is on the other side of the world. Many people miss home when they are living somewhere different and they sometimes feel very sad and homesick. Well, let's sing a song to make him feel better, shall we? You're feeling homesick and that's because You're a long, long way from the land of Oz You miss visiting Sydney Opera House And going to the outback for a walkabout Top. Cling on, don't let go. You have lots of friends, you know. Cling on, don't let go. We can call your friends back home. Cling on, don't let go. You have lots of friends, you know. Cling on, don't let go. We can call your friends back home. So there you go, Shane. Do you feel a bit happier now? And we have a little surprise for you, all the way from Australia. I think this one's for you, Shane. It's your cousin, Bruce. My next patient is Joe. He is a stick insect. Stick insects are some of the best creatures on the planet at camouflaging themselves. Camouflage is a way certain animals can blend in with their surroundings. It's a way of hiding from animals that might want to eat them. Joe? Are you there? I'm sorry, but I can't see you. Robbo? Can you try and spot Joe? I don't think he's in there. I'm having trouble spotting Joe, Dr Poppy. Oh, there you are, Joe. Why are you sad? Oh dear, oh dear, Joe. You're sad because you're sick of being ignored by people. Listen, Joe, it's not that we don't like you. We just don't see you. Wear these clothes and coat of many colours. Then we can see you. Don't go hiding in the trees no more. Or crawl through the bushes on the forest floor. You can wear these anytime you want 
too And we will see you Yes, we can see you Wow, look at that outfit, Joe. You look fantastic You really stand out I love the jacket It's a perfect fit You look amazing Orange, purple, blue and red and yellow They're all here for you Wear these clothes and coat of many colours Then we can see you Once you know about the friends you have You'll forget you ever felt so sad You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you That looks so cool! Do you feel better now, Joe? And yes, we can see you! Chilly, the Emperor Penguin. Emperor penguins live in a place called Antarctica, near the South Pole. Antarctica is so cold, the ground is made of snow and ice. Oh dear, Chilly, you look under the weather. Let me take your temperature with my thermometer. Thermometers are used by vets and doctors to take the temperature of your body. The higher the red line in the thermometer, the hotter your temperature is. Chilli is definitely too hot, but I don't think you have a fever. You just aren't used to being indoors in warm places. Emperor penguins just like you All have fat and feathers too That's to keep you warm, you know When you play out in the snow Sledging down the icy hill You don't ever feel the chill You have lots to keep you warm Even in a big snowstorm Yes, it's true what I've been told Where you're from, it's very cold In the Antarctic you are not Now you're feeling far too hot Just to keep you cold and nice We've made you this coat of ice This will keep you nice and cool When you're feeling hot in school This coat is made of ice which is just water that is frozen solid. It will help to cool you down. That's much better. Look how cool you look. What a day it's been at the Pet Rescue Centre today. I hope you've had as much fun as we did. See you next time from me, Dr Poppy. And from me, Robbo. Bye.